Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. We are going to finish the whole series in this episode, so if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. Okay, so when we last left off, we took Rachel to the hospital, and Drew is also here as well, and then one of the friends said that he's doing fine, so let's check on him first. Let's speak with Anthony North. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? Mrs. South. I'm okay, I'll stop. Chloe. <laughs> that was so good. to see Drew? I apologize. Yeah. How are things? Well, nice meeting you. No, let's just ask him how are things. It would be how weird if we just said, you know, nice meeting you. Don't even talk to him going. anymore. Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Drew's hurt, of course. But there's other things going well for us. Uh, I'm moving back into my, my old apartment in two and a half hours. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mikey's been crashing at Drew's dorm. Oh? Uh, I had a bit of trouble with work. And it's all been pretty hard. Anyway, Drew managed to scrape together enough to get me back on my feet. I'm glad things are starting to work out then. Oh no. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Yeah, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Don't know, sorry. You should ask Drew. What are you asking me for? Why don't you go ask your own son? You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I know, I don't know shit. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. They actually have helped me out. Money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's just enter this room. Let's talk to Drew ourselves. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Why does everybody sound so robotic? Hey, they sound so lifeless. It's putting me in a, like, depressed mood. Fun day, huh? Let's be sarcastic. So, what have you been doing all day? Um, not much. Homework. Hanging out with my dad. Dealing with the dumb jokes about the plate in my leg. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. Hmm. Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. Thanks. You should try it. <laughs> I bet you'd look cool with a little color. Yeah? I'll have oh, to I was talking about to the it. dude. Maybe something red? Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. I'm not Seriously? liking the voice acting right now. It, it wasn't because of me. It sounds so it? monotone. Like they're just reading from a script. I mean, I know that's what they're doing, but it should feel like they're the actual characters. Right now, I feel like there's just no emotion in any of these guys. I should have been more careful. We have our own problems. I should have been more careful. No, not at all. If anything, I should have thought about what happened to you before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Man, Dude, you won't out. do shit. Okay. 
Please. What's no, up, Pops? It out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Oh, yeah, Bye, we can barely keep See ourselves you, down. Pops. We're having so much fun. Can't you tell? Smiles all over. Man, this guy is not going to do anything. Man. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Man, fuck Damon. Rachel's going to be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Look at the pudding, I guess. Ooh, I want to eat that right now. That would be a dick move if you ate that. That ain't for you. I'm getting out of here. All right. I'm going to head out. See it you later, really mother great suckers. To see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah. Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. She is not gonna say that, watch. I bet you guys... Nah, I'm not gonna bet you guys money. Cuz, I might be wrong. James Amber said, Chloe, this is Mr. Amber. Rachel is just waking up now. I'm sure she'd love to see you. Thanks! Wait. My mama texted me. She said, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. Doesn't matter that it's after curfew. Rachel said, Mom, I can't right now. And Mom said, Prezu! Prezu, come home! I don't like hey, David anymore. He's a douchebag. Those guys out. look exhausted. Mean it's controlled. No, uh, where's it's Rachel's room? Out. I don't think anybody gave me the number. Oh, wait. Rose. Fake mom. Hey. Where's my hug? Huh? Ladies? Chloe, I care about Rachel too. I no? can't even express. Thank you so much. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice Why does it. everybody keep commenting oh. on that hair? It looks yeah. like a smurf took a shit on it. It's not it's... even that nice. It's not a big deal. It's not. It's really I not. Bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Oy. Well, she better start imagining, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be fine. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know? M my dad was like that. I'm sure he was. Just like his daughter. I don't know about that. We were lucky. I just keep feeling like we were lucky. It, it could have gone so much worse, you know? I'm sure it would have been if you weren't there for her. Why does she sound like a robot? I'm so glad it would you have been Rachel so have bad if other. you were not when there you for her. Someone I am a robot. Everything. Please change my oil. You just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. The voice acting is a little bit off on this episode. It really is. Let's see, is this it? Please don't be a random ass room. Like some old lady getting a sponge bath or something. Eesh. I don't even want to imagine that. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? This motherfucker always sounds like he's whispering. No. I'm gonna go. I'll Do be you okay. want me to stay? Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. <laughs> My guardian angel. How are you? Steph says, hey. Hey, she's actually going to tell him what Steph said. Okay. <sighs> I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. She didn't say hey, she said hi, hi girl. Steph's so cute, but not as cute as you. Oh, shit, smooth. Rachel is smooth Stop. like butter. I mean it. Rachel. 
Rachel. I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. Yeah, what? you did. Shut up. You were so fierce and I just, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. Yeah, she did. You gotta give her props. saved my life. I almost lost you. Don't do that again. I think I'm gonna go with I almost lost you. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like... On Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? No. Anything. Sarah. My mom. Yeah, what about her? <sighs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Girl, you crazy! I figured you would. Are you sure? Are you sure? She's involved with like a weird she crowd. She could be completely Super different weird. than you imagine. The ultimate weirdos. I'm sure. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is... Will you find her? Please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. You really, really do? Like, really, really, really do? Okay, I got you. Then, of course. Whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. He does. He's like, hey, baby, what you doing? Just under the <laughs> The code zero seven is two zero two. seven two two. Okay, got the code in my Do mind. I won't forget it. Your dad's office. Zero seven two two. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll. I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Ow, that was my boob. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Alright. Is that how you just end a conversation? You gonna scare Chloe like that? Kinda look like you died. Okay, so we gotta find the mom. Oh! Sneaking a little smoochy smoochy, I see you. So the code is 722. 0722. It's a four digit code. It's Rachel's birthday, which is July 22nd, so I won't forget it. Uh, uh hey, Elliot. Hey! <laughs> Wait. He has a little hot dog toy. Your hair, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it, it's nice. Sorry about the Tempest. Nice balloon. How have you been? We gotta comment on that awesome looking balloon. Uh, 
nice balloon. Hot dog man. I guess. That's the real MVP. The real yeah, MVP of this game. It's for Drew. Drew? Were you, were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? She was stabbed. She's keeping it private. Yeah. We don't I need to tell this guy. She's keeping that He's private not that for important. Now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. God, I guess I'll stop by after I see Drew. She probably wants privacy. AKA, oh. leave her alone. Right, of course. Are you. Are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. That's a lie. You're gonna judge your ass off. What do you mean? I'll keep you posted. Nothing we can't handle. I'll keep you posted. I'll you do not need to sure know. I'll make sure to keep you posted. Right now, I'm here to take care of Rachel. Yeah, because she's Chloe. my baby. I'm seriously worried about you. Well, Bro, I don't even know you, don't so be. back off. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously something is going on. Who the fuck is this guy? It's not your business. It's now back really, off. It's really not your business, Elliot. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello? Hello. The mom, dad, and Rachel are all at the hospital, and she says hello. Great. You're going to be a great thief. Great sneaking skills. Oh, I don't even need to remember the code? Then what's the point of remembering? Aw, oh, come on. What is that, a burner phone? I need to Why does he have a phone this in here? office for any communication with I'm not gonna be able to smash my way through this one. Hopefully there's a key around somewhere. Oh yeah, there's most definitely a key in here. Dad award. Best dad. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Best dad! Please. Hmm. Investigate. Did I find the key already? Pfft. I'm just that good. <laughs> I'm just that good. I stumble upon greatness all the time. Look at this. Key? Give me the key. Found. Got the key! Because that's what I do! Let's go, Chloe. We make a great team. Mikey? The fuck does Mikey want? He said, hey, Chloe. Thanks again for visiting. Drew says good luck out there. Rachel says thanks. Good luck to him too. Mikey said Chloe. Rachel said yeah. Mikey said you're stronger than anything. And then Chloe said hope so. You don't need to tell me that. I already knew that. David sent me something. Chloe, this is David. Rachel said, did my mom give you my number? He said yeah, she did. I noticed you took your father's toolbox. Are you working on a project? Chloe said, sort of. David said, what kind of project? Chloe said, sorry, I'm a little busy right now. And David said, well, I'm glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it up. Okay. Screw you. There's a cell phone in here. And it was ringing. It has to be Sarah texting him to, like, his burner phone or something. Welcome to Shadyville. This is definitely where the number is. She's probably the one texting him right now. I 
have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. Okay, so Amber's dad said, I'm told you can help me with my problem. Unknown said, crossing the line, eh? Let's talk. The dad said, we'll call tonight. Unknown said, I found who you were looking for. And then he said, call you in 15. Well, this isn't a charity. I'm going to need you to do what we talked about. Rachel's dad said, I can't. And then Unknown said, sure you can because I talked to your girl and she has a big mouth. Turns out she's not so easy. We're going to need to be more hands on. And then he said, don't hurt her. And Unknown said, relax. I've got my best guy on it. How's your daughter? You know, she attacked me first, right? Attacked me first, right? So that's Damon. You really should teach her to behave better. Nothing? Guess you don't need this taken care of anymore. So that's James Damon. is working with Damon Merrick? Why? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? It has to be. Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? You pretend that you're the dad. You just say, where's Sarah? So we're using names now. Relax, man. It's simple. Either you do what I want or your little problem becomes a big problem. Now, did you take care of the evidence or not? Shit. What do I say? The evidence? You first. I know you're new at this, so I'll give you a pass. Don't fuck with me. Let's see proof of the evidence. Hope proof James actually evidence. has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Unless I send him a picture. I don't even know what the evidence is, though. What is that, porn? <laughs> We're gonna graffiti the stuff? We're supposed to act like we've never been here, and yet she wants to graffiti? Come on, <sighs> Chloe? More sherry. <sighs> More sherry? My sherry, amor. James sure keeps lots of files on people. Gerald Scott. Who the fuck is that? Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Okay, so Sarah said, James, this is enough. When you told me at the park that you weren't going to let me be a part of Rachel's life, of course I was angry, but I understood your need to protect her. It's your prerogative as a parent. But sending the man to talk sense into me? Threaten me? You're losing the moral high ground here. What kind of way is that for a DA to act? What would the voters say? I have the right to meet my daughter, and the lawyer I spoke with agrees. But more importantly, Rachel has the right to know who her mother is, to know the truth. Do what you know is right. Sarah. Wait, I don't want to shake this. This has nothing to do with anything. And she shakes it like a moron. <laughs> it's the You can big just give her a little one. shake like this. You don't got to do this. What the fuck is that? Chloe. Why are you so weird? There's something over here, though. Sheldon. Sheldon Pike. Why do I feel like I've heard Sheldon that name Pike. before? I never heard of no Sheldon Pike. Where is the Avidance? It's got to be in here. That looks like a lot of files. A lot of important things. This must be what Damon was talking about. Yeah. Shit. Um, Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Or maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. Yeah, I don't want to take a chance. We only have one chance, so we can't blow it. Let's take a look at this. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Yeah, so Damon has to be on here. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Shut up. Okay, this says... Damon Merrick, okay. Title of offense, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. After a verbal altercation with the victim, Merrick brandished a fire poker, hitting the victim several times in the head before fleeing the scene. Maverick's gloves were recovered and entered into evidence. Okay, there you go. Gloves. All glove and no love. Take a picture of this. I was thinking the glove, too. Because he has his own knife. So that wouldn't be the same thing there. I was thinking glove. Okay, so he said, yeah, and now you fucking destroy it. 
Why are you so bad at this? I'll get right on that. If I can figure out how. We're gonna destroy this? How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can... Oh yeah, there's a fireplace out there. She wants to burn it. Right? Go out here. Why not? Okay. Is there a fireplace here? Waste basket, burn glove. Why don't you just use the fireplace? Why you gotta be so extra? Okay, whatever. Hurry up, take a picture. Oh shit. Oof. Better not touch that again. Yeah. I don't even know why you closed the window. This whole room is gonna smell like smoke. Damon said, you've taken care of it good. And then I said, so? And he said, since you're destroying evidence, might as well tell me which of my guys was the snitch. What the fuck? No one, no more, no clue. No more. Fuck this guy. He needs to tell me what I need to know. Sorry, Chief, but I think you're going to do what I asked. Tell me who it is, or maybe you'd rather deal with your problem yourself. Damn. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. Mom. Mom said, planning supper... What time do you think you'll be home? Chloe said, don't wait for me. Mom said, sweetheart, we don't get enough family time as it is. Does Rachel want to join us? She's welcome to. And Chloe said, mom, I just can't make it tonight. The mom said, Chloe, is everything okay? Chloe said, yeah, everything's fine. Mom said, okay, love you. And then I said, love you too. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching. I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. <laughs> so badass. I think the most badass thing was that he was 6'1". Let's see this one. Right on the middle of the table. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Okay, Gerald Scott. Gerald Scott. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Okay. So it says, has been very cooperative. No missed check-ins. Um, let me check the other guy. Accuse? Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Let me see something real quick. Let me look at this file in the middle again. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Okay, I think it's this guy. Gerald Scott. This is that asshole who was selling firewalk shirts. Oh yeah, this bald fucker. What about this? This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. Yeah, he's alright. Guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? Okay, I think this is the guy that's named Gerald Scott. So we are gonna accuse him. Thunder is the snitch. And then he said, shit, that makes sense. I can't wait to take care of that fucker. Guess all that leaves is our handoff. Show me you have my payment and I'll tell you where to meet. Payment? Fuck. How much? I have it. I feel like if we say how much, then he's gonna be like, wait, shouldn't you already know? So I'm gonna say I have it. And don't tell me to take a picture. Good! Send me a pic and we're all set. I was hoping James already has Damon's money. But where would it be? Sawdust? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Oh, one of those trick books. Oh, I thought it was going to be like you pull a book 
and then like it opens up to like some secret lair. But you know, pulling the bookcase works too. Damn, that's a lot of money. Holy shit. I say take the money and run. But let's snap a picture. Hashtag blessed. All right, good work. And now here's your girl ready to go. Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What the fuck, guys? What is he doing to her? Yo, chill. Why is she tied up? Let her go. I'll be right there. Let her go. I'm calling it off. Let her go. Cold feet, huh? You really are new at this. How about I leave her body on your doorstep? Bring me the cash, then we can talk. Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? What are we gonna do? Are okay. we gonna bring the money? I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Oh! No. Elliot? What? Hey! This Elliot. fuckboy followed me home? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Yo, chill. Did he really just follow me here? You followed me? Helping her. I can't really talk about it. Rachel... Rachel needs my help. I'm sure she does. I'm more concerned about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is- Hey, ah. eyes off the money! Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Come on, with. man. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? Put it down, you, that is blood money. You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Elliot, you're becoming a little bit psycho, and I'm not liking it. We're just gonna say Rachel's mother. We just gotta let I, him know. He's not gonna I back off. I can't talk much about it. It has to do with Rachel's mother. Her real mother. And that explains you breaking into the DA's home and having this? Believe it or not, yes. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. Elliot just what put his foot down. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You, you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. Not her fault. She saved me. Yeah. You don't know what she you're talking about. a little about. push action Rachel to that guy. saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop. Stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. It was my choice. She defended me. <laughs> Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? Hey, that play was she awesome, okay? She let you okay? make a fool out of yourself. I enjoyed that play. S seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough. Look. Rachel is an amazing actress, and I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real, and I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise, no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout, hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy! It just as easily could have been you in that hospital You're today. breaking into the house too? If that ever happened... Stalker much? I appreciate the concern. Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. 
I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. This guy's scaring me. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now. For once. This guy is giving me school shooter vibes. I'm not liking it. Calm him. Walk past him. Okay. We gotta calm him down. Elliot, please. This guy's a little too I freaky. I know you're upset. But... Uh, I'm not upset. Oh my god. Okay. I'm trying to help you. Call for help. Okay. We gotta talk our Elliot's way out of this. gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? Oh, goodness. When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me. We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. <laughs> yes, good job. 911, let's go. Uh oh. Why would you do that? Why? All right, Elliot. Y you want to talk so bad? Let's talk. To succeed in back talk, listen to your opponent and choose a related comeback. Got it. What's really going on here? You can tell me. This exact location? Here at the Amber House? The DA lives here. Here's what's going on. Okay, we're so we gotta basically the tell DA's the police house without letting him know what we we're actually doing. should probably leave before he comes back. Don't worry. With Rachel in the hospital, James isn't coming anytime soon. I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. My life is at risk. You're keeping me here. I feel threatened. You're right, Elliot. Yes. I two for two, baby. Before, Let's get it. But it's true. My life is at great risk. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. Help me, please. I need help. Yeah, I need help. You're right. Woo, I do need three. help. I need That's help what I'm talking immediately. About. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. Hurry up. I wish I could leave. Attempting to move on. I wish I could leave. I feel yes! trapped. Woo! Boxed in. That's how you do it. I desperately want to leave this situation. It takes a lot of guts to tell me yes. all this. And I want you to know that I will always be there for you. No matter what. Whoa, stranger danger. Personal bubbles, people. Personal bubbles. Hell yeah. Help me, please. It's the police. Okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm sure they'll just want to ask us why we're here. What do we do? I'll talk to them. Uh... Shit, um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you, Elliot. You're a great friend. <laughs> and you just got duped. Uh-oh. Later, sucker. Damn. That guy went psycho and he's gonna get arrested. Sucks for that guy. Whoa! Father like daughter. Come on now. Is the money okay? That's all that matters. Whoa. So much destruction. All because Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Yep. Hey, being a dad's tough. 
dead. Not now. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? Oh, yeah. I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. <laughs> I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I think you didn't. I just don't know. I suppose everyone lies. Yeah. I suppose everyone lies about big things. I mean, the stuff mom doesn't know about me. Yeah. So you probably lied too. Would you love me less? Depends what it was. Of course not. Maybe a little. Honestly, it depends. I guess it depends on what it was. That's the trouble, sweetheart. The truth's risky. And the idea of you loving me even a little less, I don't think I'd ever want to risk that. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Yes, I'm ready. No, I don't need to know. I feel like the right answer would be no, I don't need to know, especially because her father already passed away and what was done in the past is done in the past. You should just like live in the good memories of your father. But I'm kind of curious, so I'm going to say yes, I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. <laughs> so yeah. how am I supposed to tell you That's anything? a problem. That is a problem. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen because he is just appearing out of her memories so how is she supposed to know something new if he never told her any of the lies it's better this way I wish you'd told me you know what it's better this way it is I guess it's better this way not knowing yeah then oh my god I'll dude be the perfect can this guy dad? chill can you chill with the how jump many scares we'll get to say that my dude Turn that down. No Turn that word. copyright shit down. My ride, my tunes. Am I seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Even the dad is so creepy. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Alright, well let's do it. Going Shit. there alone is such a bad idea. Is that blood? It is. Is that Frank's blood? Frank? Frank! Shit, this is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Where the hell is Sarah? Uh, why does this look familiar? Like, I know we were here in the beginning of the game in the first episode, but this looks like the place that Max found in the other game, but I don't think that was it. I think they were at like the Prescott residence, right? Cause it kind of looks similar. I don't know, I kind of forgot. Thunder, it was you or me, it wasn't personal. The police, it's done Damon, nothing. Oh shit. So no. I was right? Everything's going to be 
just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye-bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand why does your he- Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. Do something about it. No, put that down. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. Chloe, come on. You can do this. Yep. Let's do it. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money. Can we talk about this? I got the money. I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just- Just let her go, and I won't say- Oh! No! Talking's over. Leave her alone! Oh no. Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Oh my god! Get away from her! Come on! I said shut the fuck up! This guy's starting to piss me off. No. Go to your fucking happy place. Brian. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with- Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this that again. That big old knife. Come on. I don't want to play with that. Fuck you. Jeez! Did he really just kick her in the head? Sarah. Rachel. Your daughter. She. What is going on, guys? Sarah? This can't be real. Chloe Price. You know my name? Where's Frank? Where's Frank? Or, or Damon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. Oh, so this is real. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Okay. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. You need help. Know about what? What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. That's bullshit. I don't understand. Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. 
Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. But it's lies. James yeah, it's lies. a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. She deserves to meet you. That's why and I'm here. What is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No. She doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken. You're strong. I kind of want to go with everybody's broken, but I feel like I should say that you're strong. No, you're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. Well, shit, okay. I was just trying to give you I some words of encouragement, but okay, I guess you. I gotta back off. I know loss. I lost my father. I lost my best friend. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store and a truck ran a red light and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. You quit for a year. Rachel needs you. I, I, I don't know anything about addiction, but I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs her family. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. They are far from perfect. I thought my dad was perfect. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and, and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? I can't lie to her. Don't you want to see her? Well, I kind of feel like she does have a point. So I'm going to say, don't you want to see her? Because I can't lie to her. her. I can't. You came here for it. You got sober. 
You deserve the chance to know your daughter. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. What? Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Uh... Okay. So it's gonna come down to me telling Rachel the truth Wait. or me lying to Rachel. Got it. Don't leave. I'll take care of her. Let me say don't leave. Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. Damn you! I got my ass whooped just so I could get you to meet Rachel. And then you leave anyway? Come on! Come on, Sarah! Sarah was starting to piss me off, by the way. Piss me all the way off. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Again Can with I talk the whispering. To Chloe? Alone? For a minute. Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. <laughs> that look of disgust. She's like, ugh. So sick of you. Now that I know the truth. Oh, cool. The stars are in the background. I like that. Like I got stabbed. <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Maybe. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So, how did everything go? All right, well, here's the moment of truth. Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Tell Rachel everything or protect Rachel from the truth. Oh boy, okay, I got to think about this. I feel like this episode was kind of rushed. I feel like everything that happened in this episode it just wasn't making the most sense for everything that happened in episodes one and two i feel like the mom should have had a bigger role in this episode and all she ended up being was like a voice to chloe saying don't tell rachel anything protect her from her dad because he just loves her because i feel like the big payoff in this prequel would be for rachel to meet her mom because i know what's gonna happen to rachel we all know what's gonna happen to rachel you guys see that missing poster back there we all know what's gonna happen to rachel i don't know my feeling is that everything's been a little bit too rushed but you know what i'm just gonna protect rachel from the truth because she's already hurting she's in the hospital we know that she's gonna go missing eventually so i don't want her heart to hurt even more before she goes missing so that's what i'm gonna do hey what's wrong i 
I failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Funny. You seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah. Me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. M maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know wherever she is. She loves you very much. How do you know that? Because why should she be any different from the rest of us? You know what helped me make my choice too? Is the fact when Chloe saw her dad, we you know when she was outside and looking at all the burnt trees, they had a conversation with each other about the truth. And you know, have you ever lied to me, dad? And he said, if I told you, would that make you love me a little bit less? And sometimes knowing the truth isn't really worth it. And that's why I made the choice to not tell Rachel because she doesn't deserve this heartache. She's already hurting in the hospital. She's gonna go missing, like I said. So she should go out with the mindset that her dad was a good person that just loved her very much instead of like this liar who hired like drug dealers and was a shady politician or a DA. I don't know, let me know what you guys would have done in the comments below. So they didn't end the episode with Rachel going missing, which is interesting because I thought that's how it was gonna play out. I mean, the game never gave you any indication that that's how it was gonna play out. But for some reason in my mind, I was like, okay, so we know that as we play through this, no matter what happens, at the end, Rachel's gonna go missing. But they decided to go for a happy ending. Okay, I mean, I'm not saying that I wanted to cry, but I kind of feel a little bit let down by that ending. I kind of feel let down by this episode in general. I hope I'm not the only one who feels that way. I don't feel like this episode gave you that punch, you know, to end the Rachel and Chloe story. And I kind of wanted to see exactly when Rachel went missing, but I guess it's all just for us to play out in our heads. Okay, but anyway, let's check out what we did in comparison to other players. 49% of players told Rachel the truth, and 51% of players didn't tell Rachel the truth, so it's basically 50-50. I feel like I made the best choice. Let me know down low in the comments below what you guys think about that but that was the only choice for this episode that mattered okay all right guys that was the whole oh Oh, that is so fucked up. Oh, that is so fucked up. Oh. <laughs> Why did they have to end it like that? I mean, I was hoping that would be some kind of ending for this whole series. Like how exactly Rachel went missing. But damn, they had to just end it with that short little clip of that? Oh. Oh, that is so fucked. Bonus episode, farewell. Thanks for playing Before the Storm. Don't miss the bonus farewell episode available in the Deluxe Edition. All right, guys, but that's going to do it for Life is Strange Before the Storm. I like the way it started out. I loved episode one. I feel like episode two was the best. And then it kind of tailed off and felt a little bit rushed in episode three. But overall, the experience was great. It also makes me excited for Life is Strange 2. Once that comes out, you bet your ass I'm going to play it. But if you guys enjoyed this whole prequel, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!